I am back at the sale. And uh, cause it's just rainy and nothing's happening. So everyone's just lounging around the house. And I wanted dresses, I didn't see any, and I forgot the petite section. So I'm gonna check for dresses here and lots of corduroys, which would be perfect for this time of year. Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and welcome back to the fourth video of the hospital rummage sale. Um, this video is from the second trip that I made to the sale on the first day. <laughs> so the first three videos were from the morning and this is from the afternoon. But every time I go back, I get less and less things. I found a couple Christmas crafting minis. Uh, these were a quarter. It says it's two tree ornaments. They're little books. These were 10 cents each. Little acrylic see-through holly. I don't know what you call it. Little holly bunch. And then this bag was 50 cents. It had these mini sugar cookie ornaments. So I had two of those in there. And then this one. And what's nice about these, I mean, I think that they're cute, but it's got a good shape to it. So if you wanted to paint it and make it whatever color scheme you want, you could do that, but you don't have to make the little object. I got a few pieces of clothing. These gloves, they were $4. Uh, the other pair that I got were thicker, so probably for colder days. But these, I think they have that little touch thing so you can use your phone. I don't know, I just like to stock up around this time of year when they're inexpensive and have all different types and sizes for my family to have. So these will either be for me or my daughter. This was a find. This is a brand new Talbot skirt, $99. I got it for eight, very excited. And then Talbot's jeans for six. I got this really cool tote bag with the lemons. I love the print. And I use reusable bags for everything and groceries and taking things into school. So I can always use another. Well, I shouldn't say always use another, but at the moment I've got some things stored in some of my bags at school. So I need some more for the grocery store. I got this candle. It's avocado and mint. It's a natural soy candle. It doesn't smell bad. Um, it smells more like mint. 40 hours. And I picked it up because when I went to Janet's house, she had the coolest candle in a very tall can. Um, and it was definitely an old vintage can. I thought it was so cool. So I haven't found a can as tall as hers yet. And then I took a can from like some string beans recently and washed it in the dishwasher and it just didn't have this cool old patina. So when I saw this that has a little brass look to it, I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Because after I burn this, then I can put my own candles in it. And um, I don't know, I might put it maybe in the bathroom. I've been enjoying lighting a candle in there. These three kits uh, were $2 a piece and they are copper. They come with some copper wire because so you can make your own leaves, bend them and put designs in them because the copper is pretty thin. I like them just how they are. So we've got oak leaves, holly, and then maple. So it was three of the four were there at the store. And I thought, oh, somebody's already done all the work. I just need to pop these out and then I can get creative with them. Something like this, you could, all you have to do is use a pen, like a ballpoint pen or a pencil, and you can um, just indent right into them. So you could put someone's name and make it uh, a place setting at Thanksgiving, which is kind of what I'm thinking of putting these out at Thanksgiving. I bought another bag of buttons for $2. It had a bunch of mother of pearl and some glass, but these need to be soaked and cleaned. So I went through them and right there is one with a nice little carved design. And where else? Oh, this one, that one there. This is fun. It has this iridescent glass in a black grout and a uh, little flickering candle in there. It's wax. It's the four and eight hour. And I thought that would be neat um, in the guest bedroom. I like those colors and I like that iridescence. But it also reminds me of these glitter candles that I have here too. 
These Mrs. Grossman stickers were 50 cents. This bookmark was 50 cents. And it's uh, like a ribbon. And I said it's a reproduction or it's a modeled after ancient carpets of the Orient. But if you had a dollhouse, that would be a perfect runner. These cards were a quarter and I got two. I love that. Just got a little muff there. And it says it is a paper doll circa 1880 from the Cooper Hewitt Museum. And the little postcards and papers were 10 cents each. So this one is uh, from Egypt. It says postcard Arab Republic of Egypt. And then a uh, stamp from Jordan. And it said that they were in Jordan right now going to Israel in a few days. Very interesting. Um, and when I was checking out, the woman said, oh, those were my mother's. And she just said, what was I going to do with them? I said, well, I guess I'm buying some now. Two postcards, blank postcards from the Shakespeare Hotel. And then this is a postcard. It's a photograph of Khan. And it says 19. I can't see it. And then it's probably a two. It says, hi there. Greetings from the French Riviera. <laughs> And then a little embossed card with a J. A J? No, a G. I don't know. Maybe a J. <laughs> and then these two memo pads. I just thought they were hilarious. So that one's $1,000. I paid 50 cents for it. And then this one was 50 cents as well. is an interesting piece. So this CC means curiosity corner and the lady that I know who um, works all the time at this sale is in charge of it and she just says when she sees pieces that catch her eye she puts them there and I always like find tons of stuff there. It's been like the past year or so that she's been doing it. So this looks like it's all copper and it was only a quarter and it looks like it could fit just a little tea light perfectly. So I'm going to polish it up and stick it out for the season. And then this was a dollar. Look, CC, Curiosity Corner. And it looks like a terrarium to me. So I'm going to clean this one up. And I've got some stuff over in the living room that I think would be perfect in here for a display. This copper piece polished up so quickly. So it's all copper. I just don't know what it is. I don't know if somebody practiced just combining things if it's an actual piece to something, <laughs> whatever it is, it's gonna hold a candle. And we got these today for a quarter, um, two of them, and they're grape scented. Fits perfect. <laughs> I have these crystals and rocks. I put them in this glass case with this frog. And I can probably find some more things to fill it up. And I was looking for the perfect way to display those things. I think that's it in this little area here, my curiosity area. I found these. Uh, these were in the boutique section. They were $25 for the three, so less than $10 each. And they're engraved. And I was told that they're for bridge. And it says Fred Krause, just these little aluminum books that I guess maybe you keep your scorecard in and then this one is C E Ellsworth Krauss same thing and then this is so neat I think that this would have been something you kept in your wallet um, I don't know how stamps went along with bridge but there's also a mirror in here and paper that doesn't have like the word bridge or tally on it. So this might have just been something that was something you put in your wallet or your pocket for a night out that could maybe have a few things in it that you'd need. Oh, I wonder if a pencil would have gone there. I bet it would have. Now it's just missing. Um, or somewhere else at the sale. <laughs> so games and points, and you can spin that. 
It says stamps. That's what the back looks like. And then it spins open. And in it reveals two pieces of very thick paper. Like a thick, thick cardstock that has this interesting texture. I don't know if if you wrote it on pencil, if you could just erase it or wipe it clean so you constantly could write on it, but there's no markings on it. And then the stamp area is just depressed on the inside, but maybe your stamps would have just sat in there. And then there's a mirror behind it all. That's a real mirror. So really cool pieces there some crafty bits. This bag was $1.50 and there are these large pearl buttons. Two of these darker purplish brown carved buttons and then a rhinestone. This piece here was 50 cents. Beads and stones. These little strawberries were a quarter. This frame was $1, and I have a smaller frame like this, and it's nice to just frame a little image out of a book, and a miniature for 50 cents, and it's a little egg basket that says fresh eggs, and it says Woolworth, and I just think, how long has this sat in someone's house unused? These hair clips were 50 cents, and I loved this little frog with the rhinestones. I feel like you could even use this as a bookmark. But if I can remove it, I'm gonna use it for something else. And then these caught my eye. $4 for these clip earrings. Cool stone. And on the back it says Hattie Carnegie. And I believe I've heard that name from the, the, the books that I listened to on CD by Mary Kay Andrews who loves like thrifting and antiquing and um, it, you know, she talks about that stuff. And I wanna say something about um, a coat or an outfit or something like that, that she refers to that designer. But I thought they were pretty. And then if she talked about it in her book, I thought, oh yeah, it's probably like a nice piece of costume jewelry. So I found these. And someone on eBay, I think, is asking $250 for these. Now that's what they're asking. I think they're pretty, and I'm happy to have them. And then I found these. Um, I saw a pair of these. It was Mary DeMarco, and they were $29 for a pair, which is crazy. A couple pieces of uh, more like costumey jewelry to create with. Got this for a oh, dollar or two, just a sun brooch. And then these were 50 cents a piece. I think they just called them lapel pins. So I cut this mouse with a dangly tail and that might say Avon in there. Yeah, little rhinestone tail. And then two more bluebirds. I love finding these because I love using them in my art. One, that one looks to have like a flower above it or something as part of it. And then this little owl and moon. Some earrings, but I just got them because I want to maybe use them to embellish something. $2.50, little rhinestones. And then these were uh, $4 and they are sterling... They cufflinks? I don't know. I'm going to polish them up and give them to my husband. They had a, a nice weight to them. They're marked, but I don't think with a brand. No, maybe it did have a brand. Simmons. It's marked on the side. It says Simmons Sterling. Black. These were $4. A pair of 14 karat gold filled earrings. Another piece of butterfly wing jewelry. A dollar for that charm. I think that was with the earrings, probably. Um, and then these, let's see. 
So these were interesting because these are silver looking and the backs of these are gold. They were $3. Um, and when I brought them home, they are 14 karat gold, the posts and the backings. And that, is it lapis? It's not just a solid blue. And by the way, someone commented that I should get some type of magnifying screen and I ordered one from Amazon. It'll be here in a day or so. So you guys can see everything and you can see how worse my nails are <laughs> under the magnifier. So these were attached because there's the hole. You can just put it right through the post. So those were on there as well, but it's a different blue. It's more of like a periwinkle, like a cornflower. I don't really see markings on that. I mean, it might polish up a little. So somebody just kind of combined them, but those are awesome for $3. There were three earrings on here. Um, two little whales that are as cute as can be. They're just regular metal, so I'm gonna craft with those. And then the starfish are marked 925, and the little studs are 14 karat. These earrings were $5 and I thought my daughter would love them. On the back, they are marked con plot and there's a little heart underneath. So I looked at that up and these are about $50 earrings and it said that nothing was outsourced. They were all like handmade, handmade in-house. So that's pretty cool. So I think that's it for this haul. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.